Hi singers, it's Mickey here with your singing tip of the week. So today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm actually going on a business trip next week. I'm not going to be here to film a video. So I wanted to do something that was quick and easy for me and I thought I could teach you guys a song on the ukulele. So if you don't have a ukulele or if you have no interest in learning the ukulele, you can obviously skip this video. But I think the ukulele is great because it's a super light and portable instrument. And if you're wanting to learn how to play the guitar, this is kind of like a gateway instrument for the guitar because the strings are very, very light. They're made out of plastic on mine because mine is kind of a toy. Um, obviously, if you have a more expensive uke, it's gonna sound better but this one was like $20 on Amazon, so not a big investment and it sounds great. And the frets are closer together than on a guitar, so it's easier for smaller hands. And also the action is very light. So as you can see, there's not a lot of space between the strings and the neck, so it's easier to press down. You're not gonna hurt your fingertips and get calluses and whatnot. So I find that playing the uke is great for kids and also for people that really want to learn how to play the guitar but are struggling with getting into it. The bad thing about playing the uke is if you already are a guitar player, a lot of the chords are identical in their fingerings, but they're different chords. <laughs> so for example, a G chord on the uke is actually fingered exactly like a D on the guitar, which is quite confusing. Um, but if you don't have any prior knowledge on guitar, then you don't have to worry about that stuff. The, I think this song was written in the 20s, but the reason that I know it is because it's in the movie The Jerk, which is one of my favorite movies from when I was a kid, and Steve Martin and Bernadette Peters sing it as a duet. And they actually tune down a half a step, I'm assuming because of the trumpet at the end, um, so maybe it matches the tuning of the trumpet, I don't really know, but I'm guessing that's why they tuned it down from E. So it's actually tuned to a D sharp. Normally the uke is tuned to G, C, E, A. So in this case, we're going down by a semitone. So the bottom note is going to be an F sharp. Nice little bit sharp using my um, headstock tuner, which I highly recommend. Makes life much easier than tuning by ear. Okay, and then the next string is gonna be B and then D sharp and then G sharp. Okay, so make sure that you're in tune, obviously. And the first chord that you start on is a G, which as I mentioned, looks exactly like a D on the guitar and it looks like a little triangle. So you're gonna take your third finger and play the second fret on the first string. Your pointer finger is the second fret on the third string and your ring finger is the third fret on the second string. And on the intro, you just strum it. Add a little grace note by putting down your pinky and then you pluck the second string so it looks like this <laughs> okay so you do that four times i know i know you belong then we go to a g7 which is exactly like a G, except you flip it around. So now the triangle is pointing the other direction, meaning that rather than having your ring finger on the third fret, you're gonna press down the first fret on the second string. I know you belong, there's your G7, to some, now we go to C which is a very easy chord. It's just your ring finger down on the third fret of the top string. Somebody new. Then you go to C sharp, which is just stacking your three fingers on the third frets of the top three strings. So you were here and you just put down your second and third fingers. You can actually bar it like on a guitar with one finger. If you're comfortable doing that, I always prefer to play it the nerdy amateur way with all of my fingers. So, so far in the verse we have G, I know, and then G7, you belong, and then C, to some, and then C minor, body new, and then you go back to G, but tonight, 
which is almost exactly like the C minor. We had that stack on the third fret. Now we're gonna stack on the second fret starting on the bottom string. So the bottom, the third, and the second string. That's your D major. You belong to me. And then you go back to that G. And then he does this clever little descending line where he's really just playing on the top string on the fifth and he just walks it down to the third and then he goes to G and then he actually walks it down the half step and then to a, uh, what is that? So it's actually a D <laughs> since we're half a step down. Oh yeah, it is a D, but he only plays the top two strings. So it goes. <laughs> nice little descending line. And then the second verse is exactly the same as the first verse. So second verse lyrics are, although, although we're apart, you're a part of my heart, but tonight And then, rather than doing the um, that little pattern, he does. So, if you're holding the G, you're um, you're walking up on the second string by putting your pinky down a full a whole step up, so two frets, and then you're going to the top string. Sorry, it's hard for me to, to look at what I'm doing and also play. I'm trying to show you and play. So if you're here, you're using your pinky on the second string and then on the first string. And you could play the open top string. That's also another possibility. But I think it's easier to just leave the G chord in place and just use your pinky on those notes. Okay? And then we go into the bridge, which is on C minor, which we already saw. That's that stack on the third fret, right? And now he just plays um, on the downbeats. He just plays like four on the floor on um, the strum. So it's. And then he just um, lifts up his third finger and goes down the half step as a neighboring note. That's what it's like. So the first two lines of the bridge are way down. goes back to the G. Once more, just to dream. And then we have a new chord. We have E7. So that is um, your pointer finger on the first fret of the bottom string and your third finger on the second fret of the third string and your, your ring finger on the second fret of the high string. Um, and then it goes to A, A7 actually, so it's, um, actually just A, yep, <laughs> just A. <laughs> so it's your middle finger on the second fret of the bottom string and your pointer finger on the first fret of the third string. And then to D. So let me play that whole thing for you because that was a little bit confusing. So you're on your C minor, right? Way down by the stream, how sweet it will seem once more just to And then it 
goes back to the verse again. I know. So let's see if you can play along with me the whole way through. I know, I know you belong to somebody new, but tonight you belong to me. It's just a very cute, sweet little song that you can serenade your special someone with. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. See you here next week.